Leo katika milele breakfast. Mungu wa Kakamega. Kakamega County. Karibu katika hali ilivyo. Asante sana. Masi. Eh, yes, asante. Daktari Jalango hapa. Hebu nipatie sida yako. Yeah, my problem is I'm not going to be this man for two years sasa. Two years. Yeah, almost two years. You are turning to next month. Okay. Yeah, so say the fika mahali la like, almost a month ago or two. Mhm. As I am there at is uh, depressed is having some personal problems. Mhm. So say I'm going to say what are the problems like if you can share with me I can niambia ataniambia tu baadaye kisha hiyo. Okay. I said, I'm going to one week. I'm going to he didn't tell me anything. But I'm going to tell him I'm going to tell him. So I got concerned. All right. Okay. Uh, so since I'm close to the cousin's sister, I'm going to watch him on the list because I needed to talk to someone. I was getting stressed. Mm. All right. Kwa hivyo ile ile stress yake ilikuwa pia wewe inakuambukiza stress. Of course yes. Yeah. Sababu sasa amekataa kuniambia ni nini na stress. Kwa sababu mkiwa pamoja for two years mwa kideo. Ndio. Chochote ambacho inafanya your partner. Ndio directly pia inakufanya kinakusumbua roho yako inakusumbua you don't want to date mtu mwenye ako chini wewe una mfrai inakulet down kweli kabisa Ehe. so ukaamua kuongea na kazini yake ambaye ni rafiki yako wa karibu eh nikaongea naye nikamwambia mm yo yo brother ni kama ako na problem na mimi don't know kama msema mstress I'm feeling like going away and not coming back <laughs> alikuwa anasema hivyo so, eh alisema hivyo alisema ako stress na sikia ni kama anaweza potea tu na asipatikane okay na atakiwa kuniambia the problem so nikasema acha niongee na dada yake maybe it's a big problem inaweza kuwa hata family issue mm so kuongea na yeye mm-hmm. akaniambia since uh, my brother now that is a cousin since so, kama my brother is very close to him mm acha ni muongelee tuone kama anajua anything mm sasa ndio kwa open up akasema ati ame amempatia wana mwingine mimba <laughs> okay sasa ndio amekindo saniambia aje oh asha kwenda kule nje akasoma katiba bila miwani akampachika mimba mtoto mwingine eh sasa okay. yule mwanamke mwingine ana mimba yake ana mimba yake na sasa sijui kama ni ukweli maana yake sasa ni mpatia sio almost much ama si not even finish that tunaona Ananiambia is very busy hayezi pata time when I ask for a meet up ananiambia ko busy. Sasa <laughs> nimeshinda na haja niambie niki. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, inaweza wow. kuwa ngumu kwa mwanamme uh, uh, kujieleza okay. baada ya kwenda nje kule na kupachika mimba mwingine. Mm-hmm. Sasa anataka na urudi umwambie mpenzi wako kwamba jamani kuna mwanamke nje kule nimempachika mimba mm-hmm. inakuwa ngumu mtiani sana. Hii pia ni njia moja ya rahisi sana. Ndio ya kuachana na mwanamke ambao haumtaki. Wanaume wengi wanaitumia. Alright. Unajua? Alright. Ili waone reaction zako zile za ah you what ni ni you are cheating. Akiana ngoa ngoa I'm gone. Uh, it's over between us. It's over between us. Mm. Ivo tu na imeisha. Mm. Kumbe hata mwanamke mwenye ana mimba hakuna. Hakuna. Mm. Unapata. Mm. So umekaa pale unamwangaliaga kwa mtandao kama atayapeleka. Mm. Atataposi kitu ya hospital maternity mm. ama nini? Amna lolote. Hakuna kabisa. Kumbe hakuna. kulikuwa hakuna mimba. Hakuna mimba. Alikuwa anataka kukutoka tu. Kukutoka tu. So unakuwa unataka tukusaidie namna gani my dear? Sasa <laughs> so, nilikuwa nataka tu mnipe advice what to do. Sababu so, I don't know nimekuwa nikifikiria even to just to let him because I'm gonna have to meet kabisa. Mm. Ebu yeah, police uh, for two years you know where he works I know everything I know his family I've gone to his family functions and everything Very good now it is your time to confront him It oh. is your time to confront Lazima uende muulize kwa sababu you are still Amuulize in... ama angoje amwambie mwenyewe ili mwanamke Atamwambia <laughs> unasikia hata kutaki kukutana hataki wewe kuweka kikao Lazima kama wewe mwanamke you have to stand you could be waiting for somebody Unaweza kuna ngoja mtu mwenye anakutoka ama unataka utangoja paka lini? Unanipata? Kwani you kwa... must know the truth now. Ah, ama, uh, a, ata kama ni kwenda kwake ama ni kwenda kwa kazi mwambie I've called you I've come here for a meeting. If it is an issue inatukumba, inatukumba sisi wote. You are uh, tell me my position. Ah, my dear. Huyu uh, huyu boyfriend amekwambia umsubiri kidogo depression yake amalize ama amekwambia ame nini Hiyo hivyo ameniambia just once I've come and we talk How long have you been waiting 
Samantha now. Amant Amant wewe unataka kuniambia Amant bado ameambua subiri. Asubiri paka subiri napitia mambo mengi oh, moyoni oh, na maisha ni mwangu subiri. Wakileo, mimi na wewe tunafanya kasi hapa, si ndio? Mm. Leo hii nikiwa niko chini ama uko chini inatu affect sisi wote. Mm. Unanipata kama jana. Eh, hey, so lazima uniambie jalas. Hii pombe yako ya weekend wachana nayo inapotesa roho yako. Kabisa. <laughs> Maoni yako msikilizaji, unadhani kwamba unaitwa nani madam? Sasa Masi. Unadhani Masi amfuate um, mzee wake, amwambie wazi mzee mimi nimesikia umemtunga mwanamke mimba kule nje ni ukweli hii ndio inakusumbua roho? Asiseme hivyo kwanza. Amuite kikao, wakae chini kwanza wa discuss. Kisa drop the bomb cell. Milele fema lo. Hello. Hello. Ah huyu naye anajisikiza sana. Milele fema lo. Eh Chairman. Unadhani Masi amuite mzee amwambie ama vipi ama angojee bado? Mimi kama mheshimiwa Steve Marika Chairman. Eh. Mimi nasema angojee kidogo kwa sababu unajua tena wanasema anga haraka haraka ina baraka. Vile jana amesema awali eh. Ndio amuite kikao eh mm. amueleze mume wangu mbona siku hizi umebadilika abc biza kitambo sioni unaona ndio na kama kuna tatizo lolote mume wangu mimi niko hapa kwa ajili yako na wewe uko hapo kwa ajili yako hamna mm. haja tupishane mm. eka sinada upaza wazi nijue ni nini ambaye inakukumba nione kama naweza kukusaidia ama tunaweza tatua tena kwa mpigo zaidi je uko na mke mwingine labda nje je kuna mwingine umempenda labda umempata nje je una mwanamke labda umemtunga mimba nje chochote kile ambacho kinakupitia katika kili yako mme wangu niambie <laughs> kiujanja tu milele fema lo Halo. Halo. Sema. Hapo hapo mimi na Kevin ndio umweri. Utamwambia nini Masi? Na na mimi najangia. Eh. Eh unachoka kuna kitu mtu atanyamaza ikikume kwa roho. Mm. So yeye anafaa. Mm. Aenda muulize. Ndio. Waongee na yeye. Ndio. Amuulize. Mm. Ndio wa ndio wa wasaidiane. Asante kwa maoni yako pia milele fema lo. Aya huyo yake imekatika tayari. Maoni yako ni gani katika eh, hali ilivyo leo hii utamwambia Masi namna gani? Halo? Halo, Sema. Sema baba. Mimi Alex. Safi. Safi tu sasa. Ndio. Ile kitu ningemwambia Masi asimbele kwa sana. Ati? Masi asimboje. Okay. Masi asimboje wewe unaenda? Mm na na wewe sikaa na kile kitu hiko mm hata kwa mtu mwingine endelee na maisha kama jamaa sha fanya maneno zake huko nje sasa mimi na ngoja all right you know e, yeah unajua nini mwakideo mm sasa ingine tribulation kama huyu mm ndio inatakaka kuonyesha kuwa mm je mke wangu ako na mimi wakati wa usuni ndio mpenzi wangu ako na mimi wakati wa tabu mm. how she solves this issue at this time mm. is very important yes it is time mm. masi atoke mm. anajua pali yuko kwene uh, what what is the worst that can happen si ni kumfukuza tu na kumwambia bado sitaki na atoke lakini this is the time to confront masi is not getting young mm. her heart is trouble mm. lazima ajue roho yake iko wapi masi sasa kama alivyosema daktari eh? Eh. Unajua katika uhusiano mara nyingi katika uhusiano wote ule eh? Na nyinyi mmekaa kwa miaka miwili tayari. Unaelewa? Eh, naelewa. Kwa hivyo huyu mwanamme asikutishe ni mtu wako kwa miaka miwili. Okay? Usimuogope hata kidogo. Lazima uwe unaweza kumuongelesha wakati wowote na ukamwambia hisia zako, sio? Yeah. Kama sasa hivi unahisi kwamba unadanganywa, unachezwa, eh wewe mwambie tu katika simu kupitia SMS, mwambie njoo tuonge, mueleze kwa njia yoyote ile. Haijalishi ni njia gani, ni mme wako. Alright? Yeah. Mme wako ni mme wako tu. Unaelewa? Yeah. Kilicho moyoni mwako mwambie tu. Mimi nakwambia eh kwa njia ya utulivu na kwa njia ya uungwana Usi... na kwa njia ya mapenzi usikae hapo ukingoja ti atakwambia e. Tafuta njia ya kumongelesha kama huyu ndio mtu unataka kukae naye Na ni vizuri una, umeanza kumsoma kama mjawana e. Unanipata 
Muulize, muulize ni nini mbaya. Na nataka kuongelea wana, wanawake wote. Na umwambie kabisa mimi kuna habari nimezipata mimi. Ikiwa mnaongea naye na anakwepa kwepa na toroka toroka pana pale akwambie kweli hivi na hivi basi vunja pasua mbarika mwambie mimi nimesikia habari tu kwamba kuna mwanamke mwingine nje ni kweli. Oh nimesikia habari kwamba kuna mwanamke mwingine ni mjamzito. E, mimi lakini hizi ni habari za nje. Mimi ningependa kusikia kwako manake wewe ndio mpenzi wangu. Naelewa? Ndizi habari za ghadhabu. Usiende na ghadhabu. Nenda na upole mwingi sana. Enda muambie tu baby. Uh, kwa upole tu. Baby I really need to meet you. Nini mungele. Uh, na je ni kulise? Uh, Kama kweli kuna mwanamke mwingine. Uh, na kwambie kweli ana mimba. Unapangaje? Hapo sasa ndo confusion inatokea but yeah. sasa akielezea tu what really happened or what led him to that maybe you can lead to an agreement eh yeah. oh, like oh visuri, visuri, visuri. Visuri. usiende na kadhabu nenda kwa upole tu si unampenda unampenda sana basi bas. nenda kwa upole tu na muongea kwa upole tu lakini usimfiche lolote sawa sawa basi nenda na kumpigo zaidi na ndo hali ilivyo msikilizaji your party of what will you do Yes. If there's another woman. Yes. Hapo ndio very challenging. Kweli? Mm, hapo ndio very challenge. Hapo ndio bibi yako ina Kuna wanawake wengine by the way hata hata kuja kwa hali ilivyo. Mm. Amesikia tu kwamba umemtunga mimba huyu mwanamke nje huko. Hata ndo hapo me kublock na hata hata ongea na wewe na ndo amepotea na ndo amenda. Usiwahi kuwa na haraka hivyo. Usiwe na haraka sana Ita, pia. Mse, Tulia. Mkae chini. Kweli? Mwambie nimesikia kwa yes. hivi. Yes. Unapanga aje. Yes. Unasitukia. Unaweza situkia hata ndio mwanzo wa mapenzi yenu. Kabisa. Na yale majukumu ya yule mama hata nakuachia kwa mkono. Kabisa. Wewe ndio sasa yule lazima kuongelese ndio muongelese. Kabisa. Usitupe mbachao kwa msala au pitao. Ati? Usitupe? Mbachao kwa msala au pitao. <laughs>